Hi guys and welcome back to the first of making tutorials. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a duct tape pattern of your pursuit head. I hope my English does not suck as the one before that, you know, a video before that, this one. Um, anywho, what things you need for making a duct tape pattern of your head is, of course, duct tape. I use this duct tape for, you know, when you use it for painting. Uh, it, it's not that sticky, so it's the best kind, and you can kind of draw on it, so it's really good if you have a uh, uh, person's head that's really marked. Ignore the motorcycle outside. Uh, then you're gonna need, of course, some uh, scissors, Duh. Uh, a marker, of course, and um, the, you know, this clear foil for vegetables, meat and such, you know. I use this to cover the head with it and it, it don't need to, you know, unglue the head from the duct tape, it just slides off. Um, yes, oh yeah, uh, before you start, uh, you know, duct taping your head, I mean the first head, not yours, um, I would suggest opening the first mouth um, and it's simple because uh, if you do it while the mouth is closed, then you probably will end up with the, uh, you know, jaw that does not move at all or moves just a bit. So by opening the jaw, you're having, you know, the pattern for open jaw, and it, the jaw will move better this way. So yeah, um, I'm gonna start duct taping this uh, baby here and show how, you know. I've come so far. Bye bye. Okay, so uh, I'm done with the starting process. As you can see, I put foil over the half of the head. I don't need to put it o over the other half because the head is the same in any other way. So I'm just gonna mirror the pattern around. Uh, so I just do did the front side of the of the head since I didn't need the back side that much. Uh, I used pin to help me out to keep the foil in place, but you see the the point how it should look like. So this is the first part. Time for some duct tape. Okay, so far I duct taped the ear. You can see. So this is technically what you do all the time. Just put strips on until you're done with you know the whole head or the half of the head. Yeah. Okay, now we're done with the duct taping. So as you can see, I just set the front part. The back part will be on after that. So I didn't include the hair that um, this character has, because I like to do it separately. But yeah, this is how it, it comes on. It comes out. Doesn't matter. I'm a bit confused today. Um, that. And uh, now uh, it's time to use the marker. Now what I'm gonna do is draw arrows where the fur is going. So in this case, you know, upwards. Um, and where where I'm gonna cut the pattern for the different pieces. Um, so yeah, I'll be do I'll do that. And I'll show you how it looks like after this. Okay, so I finish up the markings. As you can see, there's arrows over there, and there. I even, you know, wrote to where the ear front is and where the ear back. Um, so now you just have to cut the patterns out. And you should be good. Um, but when you start doing patterns, um, start first with the base pattern and then, you know, draw the pattern that's, um, you know, in the different color or something like that. And try to keep it simple as possible, because otherwise you have really trouble, you know, sewing the pa parts together or even gluing them, whatever you do with the parts. Um, I usually sew them on, so I'm gonna um, cut these guys out and trace them over on my fur and I'll show you how this guy looks like with fur on. Yeah. Okay, now we have all the pieces. Um, the thing you do is to try to flatten them. So uh, by you know cutting, so 
some extra lines just to make, keep them flat. Ignore that this little thing over here. Um, so I'm just gonna cut out my patterns and put on the fur with my pins and show how it's gonna look like. Enter weird music, part one. <laughs> Well, this is how your end product would look like after you cut up all the fur parts and just use pins to pin them up on your head just for good measurement. I would suggest doing that. So she looks really great now. She does not look like an um, animal she's supposed to be, but more of a squirrelish look just because the fur is so long. Uh, I am gonna shave down the fur, of course. Otherwise, well, just. She's just too furry uh, <laughs> that way. Um, but yeah, just use some pins and pin down in your fur. Uh, I used the uh, make makeshift eyes that I had before. Uh, I'm going to change those. It's, uh, they look like crap. Um, so I'm gonna have new eyes installed in them. Just I just have these makeshift eyes to just show off how she looks like right now. Um, I can't put on the first suit right now, the head, you know, uh, because there's a lot of pins in this head and just I just don't want to, you know, injure myself by doing that. Um, the nose is gonna be um, a leather, of course fake, not, not gonna use a real leather. Um, wow, this head is really firm, the first falling out, I mean the hair or something. Um, sorry if my camera loses focus a lot, cause I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, this is how she looks like. Um, after I get my sewing machine back, I'm gonna sew the parts together. Uh, you can either sew the par parts together you were cutting out or just glue them directly onto the fursuit head. If you're choosing the option to directly glue them, uh, then cut on the lines that you were cutting in the fur. Otherwise, if you're sewing them, you know, you have to leave some space uh, for the seams, so don't sew them too little. Sorry, bad English again. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks so, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you aren't a subscriber, you can subscribe if, if you want. I'm gonna put out some new videos, some might contain uh, some more Yu-Gi-Oh card art, some might contain just Fluffy doing random things, uh, or this tutorial, you know, I, I'm not gonna do the tutorial about sewing because there's a lot of tutorials out there uh, about sewing, I'm just gonna stick with uh, first tutorials for now. Um, Right now, I am up for commissions, but only for first head bases. So, because uh, I, uh, I cannot get my uh, fur over here, We're really short on fur. Uh, so, I can only do your first head bases um, on the balaclava method. Um, I am trying to use the uh, resin method um, as soon as I get my resin. So, Bear with me for a bit. Um, if you're interested in, you know, getting buying a first suit head from me, um, just send me a private message. Mm. Well, that's for the business part. For the fun part, uh, Fluffy's event is still going on. Please post some, you know, questions over at the Fluffy's little event video. Um, I have to get at least ten questions so I can start an answer video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I I got some nice questions uh, there. So you know, the more questions you have, the better. More videos for me to do. Um. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you aren't. Well, I actually don't mind. Um. So yeah. Bye bye.